Joining me now is Double Line Capital's Jeffrey Gunlock. Ken Shinoda, Double Line Capital Portfolio Manager, joining us. Joining us now, Double Line Deputy Chief Investment Officer, Jeffrey Sherman. Our next guest, Morris Chen, Portfolio Manager at Double Line Capital. The most interesting thing in the press conference came near the end, where if I heard it right, I think Jay Powell said that he wants to cut rates before we get to two. I think the market thought that the Fed would be, um, you know, stay, stay on hold, maybe a little bit hawkish in Powell's uh, conference afterwards. There's been a pretty significant environment where interest rate volatility has have, uh, have been picking up over the last few months. Well, I think what it comes down to is that all of a sudden that the stock market's become correlated with interest rates once again. I think one of the interesting things that Powell said towards the end of his conference that the risks are maybe not cutting soon enough. What a lot of people don't realize is the Fed has uh, been been on hold for four of the last five meetings. You're a lender and you're thinking about you know your loan and a loan that's pr prospectively in default, um, you really should evaluate all options on the table. It's Once we got to that 5% tenure, all of a sudden the phone started ringing again. Yeah, look, I think we've had a ferocious rally from the dark days of, uh, of October when it seemed like there was no good news coming out for bonds. And so you've seen over a 100 basis point rally in the tenure. And what a rally it's turned into. It's turned into quite a good six weeks. But I think uh, the, the Fed is basically telling you, you got to start moving out the curve. And if you you know don't want to take on too much duration, just start going out two years, maybe go out five years. There's plenty of places. But as we go into 2024 and thinking about potentially the Fed cutting rates, that means the T-bills won't be as attractive as they are today. And so I think some of that repositioning into bonds makes a lot of sense for clients out there today. I'll leave you with an old saying, that old timers like me used to cut our teeth on. And that is stocks need bonds, but bonds don't need stocks.